Dinner episode 3 starts with Wenjun telling Dinner what transpired after he called Jinju and clarifies he is not seeing Dinner. Dinner says Jinju's response is a sign that she likes Wenjun. However, Wenjun disagrees, saying he has known Jinju for a while and she must like a guy with a lot more to offer. Dinna asks him to stop overthinking and seize the moment. She promises to be there for him if Jinju breaks his heart. Later, as Wenjun gets ready for school, he comes across some old photos he took with Jinju. Based on the flashback, they seem pretty chummy with each other, so why didn't they date? Everyone thought they were, but Wenjun kept telling people they were only close, like soulmates. Dinner realizes that someone is stalking and taking photos off her. She quickly closes her windows and looks around for secret cameras. She finds none and tries to calm down. Unfortunately, she ends up locking herself in the bathroom. She tries to break the lock but is unsuccessful. Meanwhile, Won Jun and Jin Ju continue to work as waiters at the restaurant. Won Jun asks her out the following day and is surprised when she says yes. He excitedly goes home and wishes to tell Dinah the good news. He finds her locked in her toilet and breaks her out. She rushes out and hugs him tightly as she cries. Later, he helps her fix a new lock. She confesses she finds a man who can fix things around the house sexy. She tells him she never had a dad, and he tells her about his dad's passing. He asks if it was hard for Duna without a dad, and she says it was fine. The problem was losing the people who were there from the beginning. She notices she is out of cigarettes, and he tells her about the cigarettes he saw in her cabinets when looking for tools. Duna grabs the cigarettes and says they are not hers. After the incident, Wenjun takes Duna out for some fresh air. He introduces her to a game that allows her to vent her anger. They also play some basketball, and Duna cheers up even more. After the game, they watch the sky and Duna thanks him for helping her. He tells her about his upcoming date with Jinju, and she is happy for him. She advises him to stop running away from Jinju, and he promises to stop doing that. The following morning, Wenjun checks the weather forecast and excitedly prepares for his date with Jinju. The date goes well until Wenjun brings up Duna. Jinju is surprised. Unfortunately, it starts raining as they watch the cherry blossom flowers fall. They seek cover at the bus station, but Sehun drives by. He spots Jinju and stops. He offers them a lift and overhears Wenjun's conversation with Yuntake over the phone. It turns out Yuntake and Sehun are old buddies. They head to the house, and Yuntake starts praising Sehun in front of Jinju. Duna asks if they are dating and Sehun says they are not dating but are soulmates. This hurts Wenjun, while Yuntik unknowingly teases Jin Wu and Sehun to kiss. This proves too much for Wenjun, and he leaves to get some ice cream. In a flashback, we see Wenjun and Jin Wu heading home one snowy night. Jin Wu was getting cold, so Wenjun gave her his scarf and hugged her. Presently, Duna joins Wenjun to get the ice cream. They joke around until they reach the house. Dinner decides to stay back and smoke, so Wenjun gives her his hoodie. He takes the ice cream to the others. Sehun is quick to give Jinju her favorite ice cream. However, she puts it down after seeing Dinner wearing Wenjun's hoodie. Later, as they clean up, Sehun admits he likes Jinju and is trying to court her. On the other hand, Jinju asks Dinner if they can hang out again. A few days later, they meet at a friendly basketball game, and the girls cheer for Sehun and Jin Wu. After the game, Sehun invites everyone to lunch, but Won Jun declines the offer, saying he has a class. Ultimately, Jin Ju leaves with Sehun. Dunna stays with Won Jun, and she warns him to be more proactive if he wants Jin Ju. Sehun is upping his game, and he might lose her. She advises him to tell Jin Ju his feelings for her. He confesses he once told Jinju about how he felt, but she never gave him an answer. Instead, she said she was busy, and they never saw each other again after that until now. It has been over a year. Wenjun is scared to bring it up again and is happy they are back to being friends. 
he tells Dana her services as a relationship coach are terminated. Days go by, and Wonjun continues to see Jin Ju. She notices that Dana relies on Wonjun a lot. Wonjun explains that Dana has no friends, so he feels pity for her. He invites Jinju for drinks at his house since it is April Fool's Day. They end up drinking with the other housemates and talking about the lies they heard that day. Jinju talks about a guy confessing to her but says she has yet to give a response. Wonjun and Dina assume she is talking about her past with Wonjun. However, Jinju jokes and says she is pranking them. On the other hand, Dina announces she is being stalked and shows the proof. She points to a man secretly taking photos of her outside the window, and Wonjun takes off running after the man. They finally catch up to him and take his camera. They are shocked to discover it is the young boy who works at the nearest convenience store. For a moment, Duna threatens to bash his head with a bottle but reconsiders. Wonjun gets the guy to hand over all the pictures he has taken of Duna. He also informs the man's parents and boss. Duna says she doesn't want the police involved, so he helps her collect the evidence if she changes her mind. Later, Wonjun sees Jinju off, and she informs him that she is planning to leave home. That is why she has been looking for work. She wants to be independent from her parents. Upon coming back, Wenjun finds Dina sleeping. He also notices a message from P accusing her of being a good liar and asking her to stop contacting him. He spends the night at Dina's place. She wakes up and finds him on her sofa, so she joins him and sleeps on his lap as they hold hands. The episode review I think Wenjun has started to be conflicted about his feelings. Dina is shaking his heart and Jinju might lose him. To be fair, Jinju had her chance but never said anything. Even now that she is back, she could have confessed her feelings, but she is dilly-dallying. On the other hand, it is a relief that they have caught Dunna's stalker. It is understandable why she doesn't want to go to the cops. Thankfully, Wonjun was on the case like Horatio Kane. He is also sleeping on her sofa to protect her. How sweet! As we continue to the next episode, we would like to know more about P. Who is he, and why is he cutting Dun off? If he is a manager, then he is doing a shitty job. She told him about the stalker, and he thinks she is lying. 